my name is mohammad tiyab i am working in uh, uh, eastern mediterranean uh, regional office who cairo uh, this is just a brief about that uh, amro is i think so most affected uh, region what we have like uh, 76 million people are directly or indirectly affected by conflicts or uh, natural disasters we are hosting uh, i think so more than 16.7 million refugees and in the region there are uh, more than 17 million uh, internally displaced population and uh, uh, for these reasons uh, cholera is endemic uh, in our region most of the countries have cholera and some of them are reporting uh cumulative data uh, if you can see from 1998 to 2019 uh the cholera is reported uh, from the region uh and you can see that uh, cfr is high case load was very low but the cfr was high but in uh, recent years from 2016 to 2019 the case load is very high and the cfr is low uh reported as reported uh this is just a uh, 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 idea about the cholera cases reported from the countries uh during 2017 uh, afghanistan iran qatar saudi arabia somalia uh, united arab emirates yemen sudan and iraq uh, here you can see that uh, afghanistan was reporting cases um, but uh, after 2017 they haven't reported any case uh, to amro and uh, the countries with the good surveillance systems uh, like uh, iran saudi arabia and tunis they have reported some uh, imported cases like you can see that in iran 634 cases were reported uh, in which uh, 625 cases were imported cases and uh, the same like for uh, saudi arabia and the united arab emirates but in 2017 you have seen that uh, in somalia more than 75000 cases and uh, in yemen uh, more than uh, i think so 1 million cases were reported the problem is uh, you can see sudan uh, which has reported awd cases we haven't seen cholera in sudan it, it was awd cases which were reported i have just uh, give you the example of uh, yemen what we have seen uh from 2016 uh, till april 2019 more than 1.6 million cases has been reported and more than 3000 deaths has been uh, reported uh, from uh, just uh, yemen and this is just an analysis for uh, uh, 2019 in 2019 we have seen a sharp peak uh, from week 8 uh, uh, onwards till week 14 that uh, every week more than 20000 cases has been reported uh, from the country from the sentinel side 216 i think so uh, districts are reporting uh, cases if we are comparing 2018 and 2019 you have seen the most of the indicators which are uh, reported here uh, listed here total cases associated deaths case fatality rate and uh, proportion of severe cases they are increased if we are comparing 2018 first 11 weeks and 2019 the only thing which has been reduced is number of under 5 children which are reported uh, percentage of that and uh, uh, surveillance capacities in the region uh, the countries uh, the stable countries they have their uh, good surveillance system in place like saudi arabia uae qatar they have their stable systems but most of the countries uh, if we can start from uh, this and uh, eastern end from pakistan afghanistan uh, iraq syria libya somalia sudan uh, they don't have that much robust system of reporting uh, many of the disease including cholera as well so in our region seven countries are using e1 systems uh, there are different names for e1 systems according to the country preference like uh, Uh, yemen is using e1 system but by the name of edus and uh, uh, these type of systems are according to the but the base is the same the platform is the same which has been used other countries like pakistan 
um, uh, you can say um, Iran and other uh, countries they are using HMI system DHIS system uh, and uh, DHIS systems uh, for information collection and uh, sharing the data uh, the most of the countries which are reporting on these systems uh, the health facility data is uh, paper based and uh, uh, recording and then it is shifted by paper papers or they are taking photographs and sending it uh, to the upper level where the data is compiled if you can see the example from the yemen they are uh, taking a picture and sending it by whatsapp or whatever the mean uh, they are having for this type of data collection and sharing um, there are duplications which are not means controlled and as well as duplication and there are few countries which we can see that there is under reporting because because of i will, I will uh, dis discuss that why they are under reporting as well uh, non adherent to the standard case, case definition uh, in some countries uh, due to non usage of standard case definition we are missing a lot of cases which are not recorded and uh, for non adherent i will give you just just an example that if you can see the cholera data from yemen from week 11 to week 29 or 27 the ministry of health is changing uh, case definitions according to their uh, means needs and then the data trends are always changing if you can see here here they have uh, discussed that uh, only RDT tested cases will be included as a suspected case and after uh, week 29 um, they are including other than RDT tested cases as well. So there are uh, changes in the case definitions uh, uh, according to the country situation. Laboratory confirmation is very much rare. Now if you can see that uh, 1.6 million cases has been reported from uh, Yemen and less than 2% I think so less than 2 or 1% are uh, laboratory confirmed or laboratory tested and uh, uh, lack of willingness for the lab test and uh, non availability of RDTs in many countries uh, uh, for this reason they are not testing and there is a bigger problem that lab and epi data are not linked. Uh, for this reason they are sending the samples uh, there is a in huge outbreaks there is a backlog of uh, I think so number of uh, samples and they are unable to link it uh, with the uh, cases which are reported response response is fragmented and mostly focused on case management uh, that cholera cholera is I think so waterborne disease we have to think about wash as well but uh, most of the the response is related to case management other factors which are uh, 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 which are involved for the low reporting or not reporting uh, it depends on the uh, on the member states willingness to report cholera uh, and uh, fear of economy loss uh, that uh, i have seen in many countries that they are not reporting uh, cases as cholera like I have shown you the Sudan data that they have reported 29,000 cases but it was not cholera it was reported as AWD in uh, I will just give you a small example that I was working in Pakistan and uh, in 2010 floods when I was in district uh, appointed and uh, the biggest problem was to report a cholera case from there so these things has to be advocated with the ministries and uh, higher level so, so this, this, these are the problems what I, I am personally I have faced and now the countries are also reporting like this that they don't want to report uh, the word cholera uh, as a case. Uh, this is just. Uh, I, have, I apologize, but since this is also. No, 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 no. I'm just, just giving okay. you an example. I'm because not we're reading. Eating, I'm not we're reading. eating in the coffee break. No, I'm not reading the slide. I'm just saying that um, uh, around 1 million cases has been report, uh, vaccinated uh, in the uh, Yemen, but now we are continuously again. Again, we are reporting the cases. Uh, but in uh, what I, um, I have experienced that in Somalia in 2000. Uh, 17 there was uh, there were more than 60,000 cases reported and then they have conducted uh, uh, OCV campaigns 
and in 2017 the, the total number which were reported were 6500 or 6700 cases and if you can come uh, onward to 2019 i think so in 11 weeks the first 11 weeks they have they have reported less than i think so 400 cases so if the population is a little bit stable not very much means mobile like in yemen OCV has an impact, what I can say, but the, the impact has not yet been uh, formally means they have uh, calculated that what is the impact, but if you can see the cases number, you, you can just um, realize that it has something. So what we have challenges, a uh, lot of hard to reach areas, uh, critical technical support, collapse or non-functioning health system plus water and sanitation and increased demand of uh, OCV according to this for cholera outbreak uh, for yemen we are uh, we have hired a consultant and we are as an emro we are we are uh, upgrading edu system in yemen uh, which will be capturing all this uh, data the big data for cholera as well uh, with the other diseases as well for yemen for uh, this uh, cholera outbreak portal what we have developed it is we are piloting it in somalia uh, so this is uh, specifically for cholera, we are piloting it. So this is the dashboard for uh, cholera outbreak portal. We have included cholera data for 2017, 18 and 19. They are, in, they are now uh, uh, updating this data in the cholera outbreak portal in Somalia. This is the case reporting form. This, it has the uh, means uh, CVS file upload system. Uh, whatever the previous data or if there is a big uh, number of data uh, for the week as well you can upload it uh, from the system by CVS many analyses are there whatever you want according to the need uh, you can click and the automatic uh, uh, analysis is there and these are the manage functions it can be managed at district or uh, governorate or the health, uh, country level and settings thank you very much <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>